Today, I'm going to share with you some my experience that was very, very great and powerful. My trip to hell. One day, I was one night I was asleep, and this is after having a serious relationship with Father, being so excited about things that He had done and showed me, and I just couldn't get over how much the Spirit has power, how much power that the Spirit has, I should say. But now I'm going to tell you, hell is something that everyone overlooks and find that is is some myth. People believe that everyone is going to heaven. That's not true. One night, as I was sleeping in the bed, Father woke me up. And as I was woke up, I got out of the bed, and there was a hole beside my bed. Now, I would think that I was dreaming, but the angel was standing there, and he told me to go down. And I'm like, I can't go down this hole. And I'm like, I'm thinking, I'm dreaming. So this must be a dream. But when I turned around and I looked, I was still in the bed. My body was still in the bed asleep. So then I heard the voice again, Father say, go down. And the angel stood right here on my left side. He glowed. And I said to my father, Father, send someone else. Send my aunt. And my aunt was strong in the Lord. And I believe that she'd have been a better person to go down there, a better subject to go. But father said, no, you go. So I, I went. I knew I was not in my body anymore because I looked again and I was laying in the bed sleep and everything that was around me was the same it's just that I was still in the bed sleep so as we went down the hole it was dark but the angel himself he had a glow that he lit the way and as we was going down, I heard something. First, it sounded like roaring noise. And then we got farther and deeper and deeper. And it was, it was moving. It was moving pretty fast. Uh, it got louder and louder. And it sounded like as though you was at a football, a bunch of people cheering at a football game. You can just hear just like a bunch of people just roaring, screaming and shouting, cheering on the team. But the closer we got, the more I realized there wasn't no cheering. It was screams. Not just regular screams that you would have from hearing with your ears the screams that cut through you in your soul you don't just hear you feel once we got down there to the bottom I looked around and I saw the walls the walls was, was dirt And I looked at the, the floor of it. It was dirt. It was dry. And the walls was just, it was just 
dirt. It was, we was like in a cave. And the angel told me to come on. We continued to walk. And when we continued to walk, we end up standing on a cliff in this big giant chamber in the earth. Giant chamber. We stood above and we looked down and I saw like an ocean of souls. Many, many souls. And I also saw the demons that was down there. The angel told me, come on, we're going farther. And I asked him, is this what I think it is? Now at that time, I'm afraid. Because I know I wasn't in my body anymore. So I figured I've died and now this angel's finna take me to hell. The angel told me to continue, come on. So we went down some more. When we went down, we hit the bottom. And I looked again and made sure that I'm seeing what I'm seeing. I'm hearing what I'm hearing. And I realized I'm not dreaming. This no longer a dream. There's no longer a chance to do right. I'm made it to hell. And I was afraid. The angel told me not to fear. He said, God want to show you something. But I was still afraid. We walked. Right, I stood as close as I could to that angel. And we walked, and I saw so many people, so many souls, so many souls. They was being tormented. And I looked to the right, and I saw a fire that went all the way to the top of the chamber. It was... It was something to see. It was not like regular fire. It's, it was greater than lava. But that fire went all the way up to the top of the chain. And I saw these people just walking. Walking straight into the fire. And I saw the souls of many people just walking straight into the fire. And I saw this young man that I've seen before, used to work with. At the time, I didn't even know that he had passed away. But that young man was walking straight to that fire and I stood in front of him, I said, no. I said, you don't have to walk in going to the fire. And that young man looked at me. And his, because we didn't have flesh, I know exactly what he said. I have to. I have no choice. And I said, no, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I call on I call on Jesus. I said, I'll call on Jesus for you. And and, and they keep her keep him keep you from going into the fire. And the angel stepped in front of me. I said, no. You cannot, you cannot do anything for them. He said, these are the ones that rejected Jesus on earth. He said, but you can help those that are on the earth. He said, it's too late for these. And the thing about it is, those souls has no other chance. And I continue to look around 
And I saw a beast that was so hideous. And he had so much hatred and anger that he turned around and looked at me and it was just like he hated me to the core. And the angel stood beside me. And the, and the beast, he just dropped his head. And with the anger, I can feel it. The anger and the hatred that he had for me. And the, and the angel told me, it's time to go. And at that moment, the angel grabbed my arm. And we traveled again, back up out of there. And all I can think about, I get another chip. I get another chance. That's all I can think about. The souls of man. That I damn, they don't get another chance. When we reject Jesus, we don't get another chance. When we leave this earth, I'm here to share with you that hell is real, it exists. When I came back in my body, I could not do nothing but scream and holler. I couldn't move. I couldn't do nothing. Because my spirit had no control of my body yet. It had just entered back in. I cried out with my spirit, but my mouth would not open. I was not asleep. I was back in my body. I looked around with my eyes, but my head could not move. The numbness of my body was there, and I know that I had experienced an out of body experience. And it took a while. It took a long time for me to have back control of my body. I just laid there and was thanking God. That he did not leave me in that place. It was not a dream. Well, I know what a dream is. But when you look and you see your body, and you know that you're not in it, that is not a dream. That is an out-of-body experience. Finally, when I had control of my body, I went back up front like I always do to talk to my Lord. And my father said to me, he said, remember what you have seen and write it down. For it was not a dream. Or it was something real that you have experienced. I wrote it down that day. All that day. <laughs>